guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're talking about field of view and zoom and how to adjust field of view with zoom. So yeah, these are two overlapping commands, I guess you'd say. Zoom, of course, is moving in and out of the drawing, while field of view actually changes how much of the thing you see. It actually widens your view to bring more into the viewport or less, narrows it. Um, and some very interesting ways of how they work and some tips on how to take advantage of them as they work right now. Okay, so I have this little this little room here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just peek inside here and see inside we get in here. I got a lot of stuff going on, a bunch of shelves and some stuff, some some cool stuff happening, but it's really hard to see everything. So I can't even if I look all the way up like whoops, I, I back through the floor. Oh, did it again. Oh man, I might just have to pull out and try again. This probably feels familiar, right? Because everybody does this where they, especially interior designs rough because you got this back wall behind you. So this is where a lot of people end up like throwing, uh, you know, slicing stuff with um, sections or something like that. So they can see inside. Uh, there's some different options though. And this is kind of where field of view comes into play is you can play with field of view, make it a little bit easier to see more. So if I want to see more of this, I might play with field of view. So first, before we jump into field of view, let's talk about zoom. So zoom, whether I use it on the mouse and scroll with my, I'm scrolling my, my mouse wheel right now. Uh, you could do that or with the zoom key or zoom command, you can click and drag up and down. That's going to zoom in and out of the drawing. Now, one of the things that's nice about the actual zoom command over, I mean, obviously we tell people use a three button mouse, do your viewing, you know, your orbiting, your zooming with that middle button, that scroll wheel. The downside is my mouse ratchets right so it goes click 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 and if you do that it actually ratchets your zoom so you see that one step 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 uh whereas with the command the the zoom command if i click and drag i have much more fidelity over that zoom you can see there like i could probably go like it's about a pixel at a time that i'm moving in and out so gives you a much more smooth zoom and also a lot more control now the zoom is kind of a zoom, but it's kind of also not a zoom because you're actually moving the camera you're, or, or the model. I don't know what something's moving. You're dragging yourself in out. So it's not like sitting here with a camera on a tripod, twisting the lens and having it zoom in. You're actually more like your camera's on a track and you're rolling forward. That's actually what's happening here. Cause you can see as you zoom out, all of a sudden now I'm outside. Now I'm inside. Now I'm outside. So you're actually moving. You're not, it's not as simple as just like I said, changing your your focus on a point that's further away. Now, something to note, uh, as I do this, so I'm zooming in and out. Uh, with zoom, it just zooms in and out on the center of wherever you're looking, right? So I'm looking at this drawer about, so if I zoom in and out, I zoom in and out of that drawer. Uh, it doesn't matter where I click to zoom in and out from. Scrolling is a little different because if I, as I scroll in and out using my, my middle wheel, the, the pixel that my cursor is over is the one that I'll zoom in on. So just something to be conscious of. So I can effectively kind of pan this way because I can zoom out at the top, zoom in at the bottom, and I'll slowly slide my camera down. Zooming in and out with, with the command doesn't care where it is. It's going to grab whatever is in the middle of the screen and zoom in and out of it. So that's zoom. Zoom, that's how zoom works. I just want to make sure you know that you're actually moving the camera. It's not a, a normal zoom. Field of view is a great command for, like I said, especially if you're doing interior design, if you're designing a bathroom or something like that. Oh man, this can be huge. So what field of view does is it actually changes how many degrees my I can view. Uh, and it, it makes it looks like stuff's moving, right? So as I move, it's going to widen the field of view, which means I can see more, or it's going to narrow the field of view, which means I see less. If I get all the way down, it'll take you down to one degree, I believe, and then it'll stop. And one degree is just shy of, you know, parallel projection. Um, the other thing to note, there we go, let's get, let's get back in here, is that your camera does move, right? So as I move this, I just backed out the door. So I was in here before, and I just kind of went back out. Again, not a bad thing, but it's something you need to be conscious of. So as you're moving here, changing your field of view, 
you might have to scroll back and forth to actually see everything. You're also going to see some weird distortion, right? This is, it's like inception-y at some point. But uh, feel, that's what Field of View does. Field of View is going to distort the view to get more in the screen. But like I said, the important thing to remember is as you're doing this, you are, the camera's also moving, just like with Zoom. So what, what are you to do if you want to get that distorted view that you want, you want to see more? I want to see more of the room. I want to see, you know, these shelves on the side. I want to see the top, but I don't want to leave this doorway. Well, glad I ask because that's the reason we're here. So if I go to Zoom, so just the same Zoom I've been using, right? It's the regular Zoom. And you hold down Shift on your keyboard and drag out. It's going to pull back. It's going to increase the field of view. You can see it in the lower right corner. My field of view is increasing without moving the camera. This causes a more severe distortion. It's really stretching everything out, but I can see the whole room and I'm still standing right in the doorway. So shift plus zoom is going to let you do that. It's going to stretch out, but not move the camera at all. So if you're ever in a situation, I said the big spot that this happens is interior design, especially bathrooms. Bathrooms are tiny rooms where you barely have room to turn around. And this is going to let you see the entire thing. So I zoom back here far enough. I can see all three walls and the ceiling and the floor from standing inside the door of this small room. So hopefully that's something new for you guys. Um, I, I've used it for years and, and I really never even realized that shift zoom was there. I think I knew I, it, it kind of sparked that little, yeah, I think I saw that once before, like 12 years ago, but it's not something I use regularly shift zoom to change field of view without moving the camera is a great tool. Check it out, try it out, uh, see what you think. And like I said, if you're doing interior design or working inside of a closed space, it's going to be a big help for you. Uh, if you like that, click like. If you haven't, subscribe. And if you have a friend, share. They'll appreciate it. And so will we. Most importantly, leave a comment. Is Shift Zoom new to you? What do you think of it? Do you have another command that has come to you that you're like, oh, I didn't know that, or wow, it's been a long time since I've seen that? Tell us about it in the command or in the comments. Tell about tell us about the command in the comments. All right. Thanks, guys.